Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I just had the most bizarre thing happen. I was sitting here and I was looking up <clears throat> the songs that came through for the video because I use my personal phone and then I use my work phone to tell you what the songs are. <clears throat> So I was sitting here looking up the songs, and all of a sudden, my Alexa started playing music. And I thought it might have been playing, like, what was on the phone, so I walked in there to listen, and I listened to the song, and I said, Alexa, what song is that? And she said, I don't know. And so I said... Play it again. And she said, there's nothing to repeat. So it started playing again. And I tried to listen to it as hard as I could to see if I could recognize the song. <coughs> so I asked her again. I said, Alexa, what's the name of that song you're playing? And she said, there's nothing to repeat. There's nothing. She kept telling me she didn't know. She didn't know. I don't know the answer to that. I don't know. There's nothing to repeat. But there was a song playing, and it sounded like an older song, like really, really older, maybe 50s, even 40s. I mean, it was an old song. And it was saying something about being up all day and up all night and something about Abram or Abraham. So if that song means anything to you, it could be your loved one trying to get your attention. I don't know. If you, if you, if you know what song I'm talking about, comment and let me know. But it just started playing and then... When when it stopped, it it, it would it, it was like Alexa didn't even know it had done it. <clears throat> Weird, real creepy, and I had a feeling like somebody was trying to tell me something. <clears throat> My throat chakra is trying to close talking about it, so somebody understands that song, whether you'll ever admit it out loud or not. Somebody knows that song. Okay. Anyway, somebody's loved one may be trying to come through. And um, the reason why I say that is because we got the song by Maroon 5 again, Memories. And I'm going to just real quick read you those lyrics. Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Because the drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones we lost on the way. Because the drinks bring back all the memories. And the memories bring back memories. Bring back you. There's a time that I remember when I didn't know no pain. When I believed in forever and everything would stay the same. Now my heart feel like December when somebody say your name. Because I can't reach out to call you. But I know I will one day, yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes. Everybody hurts someday, a a. But everything going to be all right. Going to raise a glass and say, a. Hey, here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Because the drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones that we lost on the way. Because the drinks bring back all the memories. And the memories bring back memories bring back you memories bring back memories bring back you there's a time that I remember when I never felt so lost when I felt all of the hatred was too powerful to stop now my heart feel like an ember and it's lighting up the dark I'll carry these torches for you that you know I'll never drop. Everybody hurts sometimes. Everybody hurts someday. But everything going to be alright. Go raise a glass and say. Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here but you're not. Because the drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones that we lost on the way. Because all the drinks bring back all the memories, and the memories bring back memories, bring back you. And then it just keeps repeating. And I said, Spirit, why is this person memory having memories? 
Why are they having these memories? And then I got Religiously by Bailey Zimmerman. And it goes like this. I went looking at pictures I didn't want to see. They brought back memories. You look happy, I guess, got the life that you wanted, but it ain't with me. You would think by now that I wouldn't care. It's been a couple years, and yeah, I've had my share of other broken hearts, but I only shed real tears over hours. And now I'm in this cold, bright light, and this don't even feel like life. Because I don't have the one woman who believed in me religiously. And now I'm in the back of the church praying just to stop the hurt. Because I don't have the one woman who was there for me religiously. Remember watching you play me our song on guitar. I thought I'd marry you. Act like I'm happier now, but all of my friends know that that ain't the truth. And lately, life's been good to me. Mom is healthy, and I'm helping out the whole family. A lot of people know my name. I made a little change, but that don't mean nothing, because now I'm in this cold, bright light, and this don't even feel like life, because I don't have the one woman who believed in me religiously. <clears throat> and now I'm in the back of the church praying hard just to stop the hurt. Because I don't have the one woman who, who was there for me religiously. You brought me to God and I put you through hell. You were all about us. I was all about myself. What kind of man would lose a woman like that? If my soul could be forgiven, I would give it all back. Now I'm in this cold bright light and this don't even feel like life. Because I don't have the only woman who believed in me religiously. And now I'm in the back of the church begging God just to stop the hurt. Because I don't have the only woman who believed in me religiously. I ain't got the one woman who was there for me religiously. So this person went on with their life and started a life with somebody else. And you've been looking at pictures of them with their new family and feeling alone. But somehow there's also memories. And it could just mean that you're having memories of this relationship. But something weird happened with my Alexa just a few minutes ago. And somebody was trying to play me an old song that would have been exclusive to somebody. It was not a song I have ever heard before. I mean, it was, and you could obviously tell it wasn't anything modern. It was an older song. And it kind of gave me the feel when I listened to the music that for somebody, you could have had like a twofold kind of loss. You could have lost your mother, even though it says, I'm taking care of mama. You could have lost your mother or your father. There's been some kind of loss, I think. And on top of that, you've lost the person that you love. And you're having to see them maybe through social media. You may have even had children together. And now somebody else is raising your children. Sounds like a very sad situation. And I'm sorry if it's, some, if it's yours and you're going through that. I truly am sorry. Alright, so let's start with a prayer. And if you saw yesterday's video, I am not a political person at all. Like, I haven't watched the news in years, but I was picking up somebody's energy. They needed that reading, and so Spirit allowed me to do it. I would have never done a reading like that unless I was specifically told to do so. So, if you were offended by that, I'll, I'm sorry. Take it up with Spirit. <clears throat> Thank you for not unfollowing me, because I had several people who did. But I have to obey Spirit. The prayer for today is, Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. Now, somebody is really angry. 
and you're trying to make peace with this. And that's a big prayer. All right, what virtues are you working on in this situation? Patience came out. Sagittarius is here. This is Sagittarius season. We also have humility, and we felt that in the music, didn't we? And gratitude with persevere, don't give up. Persevere overall, don't give up. Persevere. This person is, they have been humbled because they were self centered and they lost somebody who truly loved them because of their self centeredness. All right, so let's pull some tarot here. I'm hearing you use the black deck and the white witch tarot. How are you working in this situation, spirit, in this person's life? I feel like this is going to be a very powerful reading for somebody. How are you working in this individual's life to bring them the peace and whatever it is that they're needing here? How are you at work here, Spirit? Spirit's getting just the right card. <laughs> how are you working in this person's or these people's lives in this collective? How are you working when it comes to this situation? How are you working? Oh, I got a bunch of cards. One at a time, please, so the reader can read and interpret the card. Holy Spirit, may I have your help, please? May I see how you're working here? What am I doing wrong, Spirit? Spirit said you to break up that. All right. Let's use the breakup deck. Sorry about that, Spirit. Alright. Somebody was leading a double life and they want to reconcile. I guess they're sorry they were doing something in double life. Double life and control. You were leading a double life and it got out of control. I love you. I was leading a double life. Tell me how this happened. You got away because I was leading a double life. Show me how this happened, Spirit. What I have here is strategy, strategizing, and unintentional. But they came out in reverse. And, and that makes no sense because if you're strategizing, you can't do it unintentionally. But it came out in reverse, so it's like you intentionally came up with a strategy. Or you didn't have a strategy, but you did it on purpose. Something like that. It's a weird feeling. It's got a weird vibe to it. If I turn it around, it's like I unintentionally came up with a strategy. I never meant to hurt you. I'm not who you think I am. And I'm coming up with a plan and an offer you can't refuse. Okay. Let's keep going. You got away on the bottom of the deck. You, you you didn't mean for this to happen, but you did mean for it to happen. You had no strategy, but you do have a strategy. All right. What's being hidden? I think you might still be in denial just a little bit. What's being hidden is trust your intuition when it comes to regret about a secret love. And that came out in reverse also. So it's like, trust your intuition. They don't regret having a secret love. They were unintentionally strategizing. <laughs> and they have no regret about a secret love. But Spirit is saying, trust your intuition. Because for some of you, they do regret having a secret love. And the music would indicate that what they, whatever they did to lose you, they regret it. 
it's like this has the feel like I had to come up with a strategy and I didn't mean for this to happen. It was like the only thing I could do at the moment. All right, so what's being shown? What's being shown is that you're worried <clears throat> because you don't want a, you don't want any competition and there's been online dating. You're worried that somebody might be online dating and you don't want competition. All right, so what's going to happen next? Somebody's going to escape. Drinking seems to be the only thing that numbs my mental agony. What's the truth about the online dating? Should they be worried? <clears throat> Somebody is not desperate. You forever changed my life without even trying. And I can't move on. Um, it's like, I'm trying not to feel desperate, but you forever changed my life without even trying, and now I can't move on. So, I don't think you have anything to worry about. This person's not desperate to find somebody new. How do they feel about your regretting secret love? They feel like, I choose you. I shouldn't have been so arrogant and pretending. What were you pretending? You were pretending like the grass is greener. You, like you couldn't text this person you were you would keep you wouldn't text them you would leave their text messages on on red like they could tell you had read them but you wouldn't respond you were pretending like the grass is greener there were unsent text messages and you were pretending like you had no desire to win and like you were unfazed what was the truth? The truth is that you wanted freedom. And indeed you have your freedom. So why do you have a regret then? Because now you can't be trusted. And somebody's like, I'm not making a move. You know where to find me. This person is now, they feel like you somewhat can't be trusted, and they won't make a move. They're not going to make a move on you because of this. Oh, this is sad, and somebody's fantasizing. What else can you do besides escape? Stop leading a double life. And what would that mean to stop leading a double life? What would you have to do? You would have to let them go. You're in denial about not being able to let somebody go. What's the truth? The truth is that you're realizing that you're just a player. That you play games. You play the field. That you have this tendency to have two people at once or more. And this has become a burden for you. And it should be. It should be. How does the person that forever changed your life without even trying, how do they feel about you? Deja vu and nourishing. So, I don't know. How does the person who forever changed your life without even trying feel about you? 
Like there's deja vu and timing involved. I think there's a lot of time that's gone by. This is maybe the secret love. Show me how they feel about them. Fantasy and deja vu. Like this has been always been just a big fantasy. <laughs> That there was never going, it wasn't ever going to really lead to anything but fantasy. Alright, how does the person that forever changed your life feel about you? Divine Feminine has confusion and they're getting clarity. What's the clarity they're getting? That there's an emotional whirlwind in reverse and a friendship. Why is the emotional world in reverse? Because they're not going to let this keep... Because somebody has been dishonest and tricky. And they're not going to let it affect their emotions anymore. They're tired of being confused. Maybe they're tired of you being confused. And they wish you would get clarity. And stop putting them through this emotional bullshit. How does the other person feel about you? Because you had a double life. How does the other person feel about you? They're cold hearted as hell. And conflicted. How do you feel about Divine Feminine? Happy. Laughter. Joy. Clouded judgment. Unbalanced. And skewed. Like, this is something that is a thrill that you chase, but it's an illusion. How do you feel about the person that's cold-hearted? This is the one you're keeping secret. Or they might be keeping the secret. They might, you might be realizing that somebody that you're with has been leading a double life. Why do you feel like Divine Feminine is euphoric and has illusions? Because being receptive to the chase. They're receptive to the chase. What's the truth about Divine Feminine? That she has let you go. <laughs> so you have these feelings about her. Like she's uh, got these illusions. And she's receptive to chasing you. And that you make her so happy. She's actually letting you go. Something's a fantasy. Oh, this is sad. This is so sad. What happened between you and Divine Feminine? You were on the verge, but it was not the right time. What happened between you and Frozen over here? It was your choice. What, what do you mean it was your choice? What was your choice? Make them prove it when it came to friend support. You, you wouldn't make them prove it when it came to friend support. So they were they were getting support from a friend and you you wouldn't make them prove it. What what was the truth about proving it? They did not make a mistake. What do you mean they didn't make a mistake? They felt like they had no escape and that somebody was controlling. Okay, so you were... The, okay. It was your choice when it came to being with this person who's cold-hearted and has a secret. And... You didn't make them prove that they had friend support. And they feel like they did not make a mistake. 
they didn't make a mistake by making it so there was no way out. They were controlling you. This person was controlling you. This cold-hearted person that didn't make you prove you had friend support. It was your choice to be with them. But they were actually doing this to control you. Why were they trying to control you? Because of having a fling, not making a decision, and giving you one last chance. <clears throat> this was not true love, so they were taking it slow. What was the outcome of the last chance? A divorce, don't lose hope, and silent moves. So secretly, this person wants a divorce from you, but they're not telling you that. I think you know it, though. And I think you had somebody who cared about you religiously, and you shit on them. And you're realizing that. And you're, you haven't been able to heal from this. What's going on with this Divine Feminine? Because I see I have one here. I don't know if I have the masculine here or not. The 5D is reinventing this person's life. So they are letting spirit work on them and get their life where it needs to be. They're coming out upright. The 5D is working on this person having union. What's going on with this Divine Feminine? Divine Masculine, the 5D is working on you also. Alright, what's, what's going on with my Divine Feminine here? She's letting this go. She's letting it go. She's having a hard time letting it go, but she is letting it go. Because she's tired of all the emotional shit that comes with it. All the confusion. All the in and out bullshit. It's never the right time. I choose you, but you know where to find me. You went with somewhere where the grass was greener. This is sad. This person forever changed your life without even trying. And you're trying not to feel desperate, but you can't move on from it. Alright, where's my Divine Masculine? The 5D is here, and they're not helping them when it comes to receiving something. There's something you need to receive, but the 5D is like, you're not having it. What else is going on with them? They're on mute. Not listening, not hearing. It's like, there's, there, there's, a, there's nobody home. It's like... They're just there, but they don't listen. They don't hear anybody. Nobody hears them. They're on mute. Why are they on mute? Because of communication coming to an end because of shadow work. Communication right now, they're, they're communicating about the end and shadow work. Alright, what else is going on with Divine Feminine over here? She's being guided. Guided to what? To understand. What is she understanding? She's recognizing. What do you mean she's recognizing? That this winter, somebody is going to return. Why are they returning? Because they're awakening. And what's connecting these two people? Shut down came out of the same, the wrong deck. You've both shut down, or you're about to shut down. Why are you shutting down? Because of your self worth and admired. It looks like you're shutting something else down because of your self worth and admired. Look, another card in the wrong deck. Incomparable came out of the wrong deck. Why is incomparable here? Because this person was abandoned. What's going to be the outcome of this relationship? Because it looks very complicated. Numbing with a soulmate since last fall. That's been the outcome. Since the fall, they've been numbing with a soulmate. 
They're about to take action, though. Why are they going to take action? Because of their free will, their tribe, and losing their patience. What have they lost their patience with? Their family not seeing the signs of the answer being yes. The answer being yes about what? Regret and the dark night of the soul. Their family does not realize that by them saying yes, it caused them regret and the dark night of the soul. What's it going to take for them not to feel this regret anymore? Learn their lesson and have big dreams. And will they? What's the outcome going to be for them? They're going to surrender. So yes, they will. They're going to surrender and have a fresh start. Outcome once they surrender. Oh, destruction. Why is destruction here? Because of something in the spring that's going to bring a metamorphosis and then healing. So there's going to be some destruction once they surrender. This, uh, breaking this off with this other person is going to be destructive. But it's it's necessary. What Why is the metamorphosis here? This is what something that's got to change. Why is metamorphosis here? That's what you're contemplating. What do you mean you're, you're contemplating this change? Because of somebody being unawakened. And what would you like to see do differently? You want to compromise. What do you mean compromise? Compromise with... divine. It's divine time. You have a lot of great memories and you're trying to refocus. Because they're keeping you stuck. The memories that you have... The nostalgia is keeping you stuck, and you're, you're saying, it's time for me to refocus. And what happens if you refocus? You'll get over this, you'll ascend, and Divine Feminine is on the bottom of the deck. So you're stuck in an old relationship with somebody, and you're realizing that you're a player. I think you're finally seeing yourself for who you truly are. And it's not easy to see ourselves that way. <clears throat> what is going on with this Divine Feminine? May I see, please? The Divine Feminine is going through lack. Oh, my God. The Divine Feminine came out. She has a lot of lack and doubt right now. She doubts that this will ever happen. She feels like there's, this is never going to happen. What's the secret? That somebody's not seeing their reflection clearly. What do you mean they're not seeing? This is your twin flames. And y'all are at a distance right now. And what's being shown? That you're not using your intuition. Why not? What do you mean we're not using our intuition? About a third party or partying. Well, what's the truth then? That somebody is avoiding this. They're guarded and vulnerable. They're avoiding this third party because of being guarded and vulnerable. All right, what's going to happen next? So, something's happening. They're breaking up with a third party. You're going to move into your north node, your life purpose. Check your north node and be open to receive. Open to receive what? Ego, vanity, and pride. What do you mean, ego? It has to do with your memories, no passion, and celebrating gifts in abundance. So you're going to grow up and stop being open to receive when you don't have any passion for somebody, was what it's saying. So it's saying like in the past, you have used people for what you could get out of them, and you're going to stop doing that. Good for you. What's going to be the outcome of the twin flame over here? You're going to have dark... You're going through the dark night, but you're going to have a breakthrough out and come out of this dark night. What happens when you come out of the dark night? You have the breakthrough. You're going to have messages in your dreams. Okay, what else? You're going to have a union with Divine Masculine. Look, the two of you are going to be together. It's going to have to go through some dark shit, though. They're remembering an awakening. 
they want to be present, abundant, and have gratitude. And it's like somebody is not sorry. There was control tactics. And they need to express the truth. What is the truth that they need to express? That when it comes to separation and longing, what about it? They feel guilty about separating from you. And they've had... Harm, disharmony, conflicts, and triggers, and a lot of fears and limitations. They have a lot to overcome. I'm not going to kid you. But they can overcome it. They just have to do the work. And it looks like they are, in fact, going to. Anything else we need to know here? Somebody needs to love their self. They're, they've been in their comfort zone since the fall. It looks like last fall has put them in a comfort zone. And there's going to be karma, balance, and justice. Alright, can you give me a message out of here, please, for this Divine Feminine? Divine Feminine is releasing this. It's, it's saying over and over that she's letting it go. What about Divine Masculine? Divine Masculine, stability came out for you in reverse. What's connecting the two of you? Fate and chemistry. Alright, what's going to be the outcome here? Somebody's going to take a leap of faith and have forgiveness. Right now you're having time apart so this relationship can be balanced. Anything else for Divine Feminine besides release? Put away the computer came out. What about Divine Masculine? You've mastered a spiritual lesson when it comes to an obsession and true love. And new love. Hmm. Outcome, boundaries, and new love. Anything else we need to know about this outcome? Your finances are a factor. What do you mean your finances? It's a friendship. And it's protected. It's a friendship that has finances involved. And it's protected. So let's look at your money. What's going on with the money here that's being protected? Your happiness is here. And somebody is an artist. Alright, what else? You, you're a networker. You're a networker. What else? There's something you can't see that's going to bring you an incredible amount of luck. Can you give us a hint as to what that might look like? It's going to look like somebody having solitude. They're not planning on their money coming to a halt. But there's going to be motivation. What do you mean? You're going to have luck when it comes to your, your money coming to a halt. Your soul tribe is here. Somebody is unreliable and you've been settling. How is that luck? Because this is angelic help. And somebody is in the spores. What is the what are the angels actually doing here? Letting somebody take off because somebody's not beautiful, they're not a rebel, and they're not a peacemaker. <laughs> so you're gonna take off because of beauty, a rebel, and being peacemaker. Anything else? Everything's coming out in reverse. You're not gonna share your home. And science is here. Or maybe you are going to share your home. Why is science here? Because of a surprise crossroads and something legal. Clarify what you mean. Oh, somebody's about to go to the next level. <clears throat> and they're manifesting. What are they manifesting? What are they juggling? Maybe they're going to go to court because they've been juggling women. What's, what's being juggled? Something that you, can't be unlocked. That You need an option for growth. 
and the outcome of your next level. Outcome of your next level is going to be setbacks in the media. Why would you have setbacks? Because of your real estate, being a crafter, being in your feelings, being self-made, and something that you're selling or not selling. Caution. Why do they need to be cautious? Because of a counselor. What do you mean counselor? This is not temporary. They're a workaholic. There's going to be a conflict about a gift. Alright. Outcome of the conflict about the gift. You're going to get a job and work. You're going to have a new beginning. Because you know you're not on the right path. The office is here with your life purpose and being a designer and having a shift. Outcome of your life purpose. Holy shit. You're going to have a windfall, stability, and not be a helper and not take a risk. Alrighty then. I think whoever this is for understood what was being said. What would Divine Masculine's best friend say? Give credit where credit is due and do what you can with the energy you have. What about Divine Feminine? Trust your heart and take a walk outside. Take a walk on the wild side. <laughs> I'm hearing that song for some reason. Alright, how are the angels helping in this situation? May I see please? You're having, you're feeling the vibes. And you're going to have flat out miracles and prosperity with fire and a divine plan. I'm going to leave it at that. I mean, <laughs> I want to see what this divine masculine would say to this divine feminine. What would he say to her? Oh, he has a lot to say. What would he say to her? Wait, may I have one, please? What would divine masculine say? He would say, I didn't know what I had until it was gone. Lesson learned. I'm trying to make a very difficult decision and it involves you. And... You deserve the best, and I respect you. I want to do the right thing. And what would she say to him? She would say, we're so different. I'm trying to figure out how this is going to work. What else would she say? She would say, my heart is opening, and I'm ready. I'm telling you the truth. You can trust my words. And please accept my apology so we can move past this. With, I have so much going on in my life and I'm struggling to juggle it all. So she's, going, she's got a lot going on. Okay. Alright, let's get you some guidance. Guidance out of here, I'm hearing. Guidance, please, for this situation. One, please. May I have one, please? I got two. I got rock star and warrior goddess with bright destiny on the bottom of the deck. There's some here is some here somebody here is afraid to stand out. Number twenty five, warrior goddess. This is not a time to play it safe, nor is it time to allow another to take the lead in your life. You need to believe in yourself and trust that your instincts guiding you are correct. If you need to take action, do it. Speak up. Say yes. Say no. Trust your inner truth completely. Be bold and the universe will answer your boldest actions with affirmation. And you'll move through the consequences of your actions with grace and courage, ending up exactly where you're meant to be. You are ready. Life has been preparing you. Your experiences have made you stronger and wiser. You have, you have spirit and you have courage. Believe in yourself. You are a warrior goddess, an empowered divine woman. 
Trust that your foundations are strong. Put your faith in the universe. It has been your life coach and guide all along, helping you build up your inner resources, encouraging you to realize the power that has always been within. The universe believes in you. When you feel it is time to take a step, take it with confidence. When you ask for help from the universe, ask with boldness and total confidence that your prayers will be answered in the best possible way. You have the right to require that your personal space be respected. You have divine permission and encouragement to claim your rightful place in the world. You are meant to say no to behavior that is manipulative and bullying. The warrior goddess uses her sacred anger to set a boundary and speak her truth, not to attack another. She has inner fire to live with integrity, even if the right choice seems hard or frightening at the time. She knows that the universe has her back, so she is willing to be true to herself no matter what. She places integrity above everything else. She knows that compromising her self-respect to win a battle will end up losing her the war. And then rock star number nine. You may have a subconscious fear of being judged or becoming the target of jealousy that causes you to shy away from the limelight. You may mistakenly believe that being in the spotlight means that you're supposed to be perfect or better than anyone else. There's a higher purpose to standing apart from the crowd and being seen. Choose to accept the opportunities that make you more visible to others, trusting that you will shine your truth and integrity to make a p positive and healing experience for yourself and others too. And then we have Bright Destiny number 14. It's okay to feel unclear or even confused about what's happening in your life or within you at this time. It's like that because you're going through soul growth. Things will become clear in time. For now, however, let the process happen. Fear can make us try to fear can make us force something that isn't quite ready yet. Don't try to impose meaning, take action, or understand it all prematurely. Don't think too hard. When it's time for you to act, you'll know it. It's okay to relax and trust that the moment of clarity will come when the time is right. Remember, Divine Feminine was having confusion and needing clarity. It's coming. To become truly yourself, shining your divine beauty and light, you will go through a process of releasing what is no longer right and true for you. And you've been showing over and over again that you're letting something go. Like the caterpillar who sheds the chrysalis when it is time to emerge as the butterfly, so will you let go of the person you once thought you needed to be. This can feel freeing, exciting. It can also seem frightening. You may feel crazy sometimes trying to hold on to a past that's no longer available to you and grasping for a future that is yet to be. I can, I can relate to this. <laughs> you may feel... Sorry. Sometimes it can feel like a dark night of the soul filled with questioning and confusion. Others may not understand what is happening and you may feel as though you can't really explain it to others. In these such times, we have to trust that all the changes and uncertainty are part of the process of growth. Letting go in order to open up to something amazing and new. This is happening for you now. You don't have to be afraid. You are going through this 
because you are ready for it, even if you think you're not. There is no, no reason. There is a loving reason for all of it, even if you cannot see right now. Put your faith in the, in the mystery. Trust that the answers will come. And so will joy of all that you have grown into. Stay true to your path and know that you have a bright destiny ahead. And I feel that so strongly to my core. I'm going through that. Letting go of my past and opening myself up to another possibility of love again. Alright, how are you working in this situation? There's a friendship that's being strengthened. You have a friend that is a strong bond, okay? Anything else you want to tell us? Your dreams keep coming out, all right? Why are you telling us this? Because it's about a commitment. You're having dreams about a commitment or something in your life purpose. Anything else? I'm hearing one more time. Have confidence. Have, what do you want confidence in? In the closure and the willpower for you to get closure. Have confidence in your ability to get closure. You need closure. You're healing. You're going to find something. What are they going to find? You're going to find your talent. And what's going to be the outcome of that? You're going to have a spirit guide. And that's where your good luck comes in. <laughs> and compassion. Outcome of the good luck. Fertility. So for some of you, you might be having a baby. This is the Divine Feminine. Anything else? <laughs> this is beautiful. For some of you, you're going to have a baby. You're going to have a family. It's protected. And it's going to lighten your load. You're about to meet somebody new, it looks like. And the truth is here with blessings. Oh, I'm so excited for you. I am so excited for you. It could be this twin flame for some of you. It just could be. I don't know. All right. Let's see. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Remember there were some unsent text messages. What would those messages say? Booty call, don't judge me, just come over. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> but they said you have me confused with somebody else because I don't give booty calls. <laughs> if you want this booty, you're going to have to have a commitment. <laughs> oh, I got a lot of trinkets this time. Look, my pirate fell out of my hand. I got the silver pirate this time. I got a guitar playing skeleton. A piece of selenite. Life is a gift. Rom romance could divert your attention away from money matters today. A gasket, a ballerina, a marble, a turtle. Somebody plays guitar. A butterfly that says miracles happen. Perhaps love. A heart with a nursing cap. Another fortune cookie. You might be going to have Chinese food. It says consider your impressions and follow them once in a while. A skeleton. You might be an x-ray tech. A fancy ball. It might be a fancy ball player. A crown. The letter C. Somebody's name starts with a C. An angel. A butterfly. A little kid with a ball cap on. Love and peace. Weakness is a choice. An arrow. Oh, a dragonfly. A kitty cat. Another kitty cat. Somebody's kitty cat. A shell. A, a doggy paw or a bear paw. The Mother Mary. An angel. A starfish. A three-leaf clover. An infinity sign. A dime. A fancy heart. 
a gecko, a whale tail, an elephant, a pegasus, a dolphin, a horseshoe with a four-leaf clover, and a heart with an arrow that says love. Oh, that was a lot of trinkets, y'all. All right, trinkets from this ball, please. Holy Spirit. That's a lot more trinkets. A feather. Always remember you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. I got a piece of crystal. I got my pilot wings, my airline or whatever, um, military. Somebody has a key to something. An angel. I got that red marble. And I got another piece of quartz crystal. An Eiffel Tower with a fancy heart around it. An angel. A prick or a cactus. A rocking horse for a baby. A fancy heart with a flower. An arrow for a Sagittarius. And I got my other pirate. My other pirate. Alright, I love you guys so much. Thank you for sticking with me even through yesterday's bullshit video that I did not want to make. But I have to obey spirit and thank you for understanding that. I love you guys and I hope that you have a magnificent day. Bye bye. Spirit said hold up. Spirit. Message please from the instant magic oracle. Oh my goodness. Intuition incoming. Your intuition has led you to this page. And it is calling you to tap into your power. You will need a pen and paper. Close your eyes and take a few gentle slow deep breaths. When your breathing, return, when your breathing returns to normal. And you are feeling still and calm. Use your index finger and third finger and start to gently tap on your third eye. Do this for a few moments and take note of the first thing that comes into your mind. This could be in the form of a direct message, a shape, a color, or a feeling in your body. If you do, I'm sorry, if you like, you can then get a pen and paper, close your eyes, and write your, with your less dominant hand, writing with your less dominant hand activates the right side of your brain, which turns it into the subconscious and helps turn up your psychic abilities. So you're being encouraged to tap into your intuition, and that explains to you how you, how you can do that. All right, now, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.